Okay, one of the things we're gonna be talking today is uh, the process of actually banding young, young stock. I'm here with Debbie today. She's a, a resident of Hopkins County. And we're gonna look at several options for a small herd producer that might be beneficial for them, them to learn how to do themselves. You know, the, the process of uh, the technical term is called castration. Mm -hmm. When you remove the, the reproductive uh, capability of a, of a young stock. And uh, particularly in goats, you know, they have a tendency to be very aggressive uh, when they develop fully. Mm -hmm. So there's a need uh, for small producers to actually reduce that, that um, energy. And um, the options out there are basically limited to two. Okay. Uh, the, the first option is, of course, the removal of the testicles, both mm -hmm. of them. Uh, with surgery. You actually cut it, you will have a, a, an open wound that is going to be, you know, be taken care of and uh, during the, the surgery you remove the testicles, uh, both of them, they have to be both of them in down for this to be happening and then you let it heal. Mm -hmm. The healing process and the pain could be two or three days uh, and, and that's what the, the, the options are. The other one is actually banding. Banding is when you apply a rubber band um, on top of the testicles. These are the rubber bands. Right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. They're so small. They're very small. So what is going to happen is going to tie uh, the muscles and the, the, the arteries going to the testicle. And it's going to eventually uh, regress. It's going to basically um, shrink to the point that it's not existent okay. anymore. Uh, uh, David was asking me uh, earlier before about the, the different uh, approaches on this. Some people, some people find this aggressive. Some people uh, don't like to, to see a banding in kids because they said it's painful. Right. And uh, that's what the European Union, you were asking me. Yeah, yeah. I was what, asking was it, uh, what was it banned in the yeah. European option? My opinion as a welfare advocate, you know, as a, as a veterinarian, was one of those things that you... You, you try this to look for processes that are simple for the, the producer, is safer as you can for the animal, and actually give the result that you need. If you are capable to look after bleeding and things like that, mm -hmm. the, the surgical process is the safest one because it's the fastest one. My concern is when you're not trained or you don't have the time right. to follow up an internal bleeding. That's one of the big risks when you're castrating an animal. Is uh, uh, on on seen hemorrhage that is actually can cause the little the little guy to, to die off without you being able to do anything about it. When you remove that testicle and you cut it, basically the muscle is called the cremaster muscle will pull it in inside of the abdomen, so it's gone. Ah. Basically, you won't you you can see it. Okay. Uh, now the pain, like I said, I think they're fairly comparable. Uh, sometimes you don't realize that it's painful because the animal is not vocalizing. And that's one of those right. things that they get really, 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 to me, on the gray area. Mm -hmm. Well, is it painful or not? But how are you going to evaluate that pain? Yeah. Uh, if you see it when, when we see your, 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 your kid, I mean, after a day or so, they might be kicking it a little bit and be uncomfortable for a day or so. And then the sensitivity collapses and, and it's mm -hmm. gone. So what I would like to... to to recommend you because my idea is actually for you guys to learn how to do it uh, on yourself. Um, there's other things that I consider positive when you're banding. Number one, you don't have to worry about having an open wound. Right. Uh, an open wound um, usually leads to other problems with tetanus in the small goats. And uh, if the pet of, of the goat is running around, you know, they can get exposed to, to mm -hmm. secondary infections and then that, that adds to it. With this, you don't have an open wound. Okay. The, the, the tissue will drop, it will collapse, and it's going to be gone. There's no bleeding, there's, there's none of that. Now, it's important that you guys, whenever you, you buy your, your products, that you buy a, a, the banding. I'm going to show you the, the tool. Make sure you get one that is metal made. They have other, other, other types, uh, cheaper, you know. Okay. But the problem with those ones is if you see any, any type of hardware, when the plastic gets all, it gets brittle. Right. So you're, you're running in that situation that it might, these little tips made out of plastic, you know, it might collapse it's gonna uh, and it's gonna break. So by the time 
If you're doing it often, which yeah. I hope you are uh, when you get to be a, a, a goat producer, you're going to be facing this often. Okay. So it's important that you spend, you know, extra, I think this runs about $25 or something like that oh, on your farmer's job. Okay. Uh, the castration, just for a side visit of a veterinarian, would be at least $35. So you're looking okay. into, you know, the process and, and the follow-up and whatnot, uh, and then plus, 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 whatever. You know, mm -hmm. you have to have a shot for the tetanus that's going to be adding, and so on. So... Uh, when you're looking about goats and the, the market price of a goat, you know, you're really uh, limited to having something mm -hmm. like this taken care of. Now, with that in mind, there's a time frame that you okay. can actually use these this bands. Because if the, if the bug develops too much, mm -hmm. the testicle cannot fit in through the, the opening. There's actually a limit. So anything that is big uh, will have a problem fitting through the opening, and I'm going to show you how it works. What is the what is the cutoff? So he's about eight about eight weeks now. What is the cutoff? Well, in your months? particular case, because you have dwarf goats, mm -hmm. they're going to be smaller size always. Okay. So uh, when you're trying to ban a uh, another breed, bigger breed like mm -hmm. a board cross, they're going to be significantly right. bigger. You know, six months you're really pushing it to. Yeah. Too much, you know. Uh, plus, you don't want to develop those male uh, characteristics that make it even hard to, to control. Yeah. You see, sexuality in, in animals, just like any, anything else, and humans are the same way, you know, it's on the brain. Mm -hmm. Most of the people think it's actually the, the, the organs, but really it's in the brain when all those mm -hmm. effects of those hormones start happening. Mm -hmm. So, if you let that testicle there too long, those hormones are going to influence the brain, and although it might not be able to fertilize a female, he still behaves as a bug. Yeah, and he's that's, already doing that. This probably mm -hmm. going to be that because uh, goats are very, very early developers. You know, yeah. they're, part of the survival is that, yeah. that they can actually multiply fast and, and put numbers out there mm -hmm. because they get predated and, and so on. So the sooner that you can, that you have the testicles sensible, that you can actually feel them because you have to feel them through the band, uh, the better off you are. Okay. Okay, do you have any questions about the process? Uh, now, like anything else, you know, there might be some consequences of this. You know, he might be in a little pain, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, usually they will show it by kicking their belly when they're walking around because mm -hmm. they, there's something there that they're trying to remove it. Okay. Uh, and that's expected. Of course, it's, it's, it's something that he doesn't know what it is. So uh, I'm assuming it's going to be better for him that he's with the dam as in terms of comfort level maybe or it, I that's guess it's sure. one of those subjective I mean, it's things life, it's life yeah. as long as you want to keep it in the mm -hmm. way he is you know that's going to be fine uh, I think he, he will like I said he will sense it mm -hmm. and he will he will kick it try to get it out of it but he can't yes. uh, the way that the mechanics work you know the testicle is going to be holding the band in and there's no way it can fall off right. so I'm going to let you guys see it you know the band is already applied in the in the in the device and what it's going to do is going to open up and you can see it on the on the screen but the testicle is going to go through there and then it's going to collapse and then you just roll it inside and restrain the testicle okay pause it for a minute 